I found on the internet that there are some quizzes which you can take and it's basically going to tell you which character from Jane Austen novels you are. I did not read the book. <laughs> I have no idea who the person is. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Becky here and welcome back to my channel. Happy Jane Austen July! So, as many of you know, July is the month that belongs to Jane Austen, which means that people are reading more of their books than ever, they are watching film adaptations and also participating in different readathons. This is the first year I'm going to be participating myself and I'm very very excited because there are some really great challenges waiting for us and I cannot wait to tackle them at least some of them because there is quite a lot of them so I really really cannot wait and this year's readathon is organized by Claudia, Katie and Marisa and I will link their channels to the description down below so please make sure you will go and check them as well because they are amazing and doing absolutely great videos about books so make sure you will have a look at those as well and I thought it would be quite nice to make at least one video during this readathon because I'm also fighting my dissertation but at least one and I decided to do a reading vlog with Jane Austen so speak about my favorite books from her, my favorite film because I do love so many film adaptations which I would like to share with you and also to do some other challenges from the list and also add there something of my own. So without the further ado let's just speak about the challenges which I've written down on the paper because I don't want to get them wrong and the first challenge is to read one of her main six novels which in my case will be Emma, this one beautiful flowerish cover. Uh, Emma for me is the case of reading or, or the story which I started to read a couple of years ago but I never finished it because as I mentioned in one of my previous videos about Bronte sisters as much as I do love Jane Austen, I must say I'm more fan of her film adaptations because reading is a little bit more difficult for me and it always takes me quite a long time to get through her books. So Emma is something which I really want to challenge myself with and I really want to finish this book. And funny thing is that I even saw the last year's adaptation with... Anna Taylor-Joy, that's her name, uh, and I really love the costumes and I remember watching this with my flatmate in our Scottish flat but I just cannot recall what was the story about <laughs> and what really happened so this is going to be a brand new surprise for me so for the first challenge read one of her main six novels is going to be Emma. The challenge number two is to read something that is not one of her main six novels and I decided to go with Lady Suzanne because I haven't heard about this book before but it's quite a thin one <laughs> and that's also the reason why I'm going for it because yeah dissertation is kind of haunting me down so I'm going to be reading Lady Suzanne and I'm quite excited because I already started to read a couple pages from that and I really like it so far because the book seems to be written only in letters I think I'm right like the entire book is going to be written through letters two people are sending to each other so very very excited the third challenge is to read some non-fictional book about her and about her time and one book I found which I really really like is called What Matters in Jane Austen by John Mullen. This book seems to be really lovely because it talks about different rules and traditions which were normal for Jane Austen times and the Regency era so for example how is the right way to propose to a woman or which are the characters like the main characters from the book which did not speak at all so everything about Jane Austen books writing and settings and the Regency era so it looks really really nice and I cannot wait to read this one. The challenge number four is to read a retelling of one of her novels Retellings in general are really not my thing so I think that this might be a challenge which I might skip if I won't have enough time because I read a couple retellings myself before but it's just not something I'm really fond of so I might do something else instead and that is for example to read contemporary book which is the challenge number five and in this case I would like to read an Austin Land because this is a story which I seen on the screen before I know there is a film I think with Kerry Russell in the main character yeah, and I quite enjoyed the film. I've seen it only once, so I would like to see the comparison about film and books because, as I mentioned a couple of times before, I do love compare books and films. So, uh, from what I remember, the story is about Kerry Russell, the main character, who is living in the contemporary times, like our times, and she is really obsessed with Mr. Darcy. And when she says this to her, I think it's great aunt, she gets a gift from her, which is a trip to Austin Land, which is a place which was created by other people who are completely obsessed with Jane Austen and Regency era it's the place where you can go and you can experience yourself how is it to live during Regency era and I remember it being quite nice and funny and obviously as it goes in Jane Austen novels there is a lot of love plots and these sort of things so I would like to read a book itself and see the comparison between the film and the book and then finally moving to two another challenges which is to watch a direct film adaptation from one of her books and then which one modern adaptation of one of her books so 
yes this is uh, something I'm really excited about because as I said I love films my most favorite of all time is Pride and Prejudice from 2005 goodness me guys that aesthetics and camera like cinematography in that film and lighting it's so so beautiful and I, I just cannot I absolutely love it and that's one of my most favorite films but I would also like to watch films which I haven't seen before and there are quite a lot of adaptations so once I do this I would like to share with you how I like them and which were my favorite and maybe least favorite and have a little chat about that with you and then finally I decided to add two more challenges well not challenges just maybe activities for this Jane Austen readathon month because I found on the internet that there are some quizzes which you can take and it's basically going to tell you which character from Jane Austen novels you are and I would really like to try it because funny thing is that as I said I have not read many of her books yet so I think there is pretty big chance that I could be one of the characters and have no idea who the character is so there would be another research and another challenge challenge I would have to do during this readathon so that's going to be quite fun and then the last thing I would like to do is to really do well not a regency day because I don't have all the props and settings and everything but I would really like to have one day when I would be mostly focusing on reading this lovely thick book and during that time just have no phones with me no internet and anything and maybe just do some lovely picnic in the garden so something like that that would be really really nice Okay, so the first time I'm recording there and also screen recording and I'm the worst when it comes to technical devices, like everyone who knows me can tell you this, like Becky is the worst and they are always laughing at me. So I'm gonna try and hopefully not mess up. So I found this quiz, uh, it's BuzzFeed I think, and I will try to share the screen with you then. Um, everyone's personality matches, a Jane Austen character, which are you? We'll see. We'll see. So choose a country to live in. London, France, Australia, South Africa, New Zealand and Greece. Okay, uh, okay, I've been in London, I've been to Paris, I love both of them. I will try New Zealand because, yeah, a Hobbit was filmed there and I really want to see that. <laughs> choose a quote. There is no charm equal to tenderness of heart. I will be calm, I will be a mistress of myself. To be fond of dancing was a certain step towards falling in love. Oh yeah, I love dancing, I do love. To sit in the shade one a fine day and look upon virtue is the most perfect refreshment. You pin on my soul, I'm half agony, half hope. You pierce my soul, I'm half agony, half hope. <laughs> what are men to rocks and mountains? Oh yes. Yeah, that's Mary Bennett, I know that much. But I'm gonna go with dancing one, okay? What would you do at ball? Laugh at the drama with your sisters. <laughs> I mean, yeah, with my sister we would. Dance with your friend, I would. Talk with your sweeters, if there are any. <laughs> play the piano, cannot play piano quietly. Observe from the corner, yeah, might be as well. Enjoy all the attention. Nope. Okay, I really, I really don't know. Is this recording? Please be recording, yes. <laughs> oh, my battery is me. Never mind. Okay, so laugh at the drama, talk with your suitors, play the piano, dance with your friends. Yeah, I would go dance with my friends and in the meanwhile I would also laugh with my sister at all the drama. Choose the house. Oh my gosh, they are beautiful. Eh. Okay, I'm gonna go with this green one because I love greenery. I'm just pray that there is no insect because I could not deal with it. Pick a classic book. Anne of Green Gables, Little Women, Jane Eyre, Kill a Mockingbird, Alice is an Great Gatsby. I'm gonna go with Jane Eyre because I quite identify with that character. Your favorite genre, horror? Never. I never watch horror movies or never read anything horror related. I just hate it because then I'm scared whenever I go. Romance, comedy, science fiction, non-fiction, fantasy. Okay, between romance and non-fiction. Okay, now I am in the period of non-fiction, so I'm gonna go for non-fiction. Pick a hobby. Embroidery, reading, traveling, writing, spending time with your family, dancing, everything! Can I just, can I just do everything? Okay, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go for dancing. I cannot dance, by the way, I'm horrible when it comes to dancing, but I love to do it. Choose a modern young adult book. Perks of being a wallflower, looking for Alaska, all the boys I've loved before, just listen by Sarah, Aristotle and Dante, discover the secrets of the universe, one of us. I'm gonna go for Aristotle and Dante because I read this recently and I love that book. Finally pick a landscape. Okay, so forest, meadow, forest, oh wow. 
Wow. Um, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go with this little lake and mountains. There we go. Okay, funny prize from Mansfield Park. I did not read the book. <laughs> I have no idea who the person is. <laughs> okay, so there is a challenge for me, number eight or seven, or I don't know. You are a kind-hearted soul. Don't be afraid to voice your opinions more often. Embrace your confidence and remember that you are beloved by those, by those around you. Okay, I like it. I like it and I can see that this is from the movie. So, okay, I am adding another challenge on my list and I'm going to be I'm going to be watching the film for sure and hopefully I will get to read at least some of the book. Okay, so that's a quiz done. Yeah, I knew it's going to happen. I knew I'm not going to know the character, but Sunny Price from Mansfield Park. And I think it might be one of her main six novels, so yeah, shame on me, but I will I will make it up and I will try and read it. As you may know, the very first video I released on this channel was setting up my first reading journal and I will link the video to the description down below if you would like to see it. 
but since then I must say I was quite consistent when it comes to keeping it because I've been keeping a record and notes about each book I read since then but I don't usually do any sort of title page or monthly page in it, I just go and write book by book. But this time, because it's a special occasion, I really wanted to do something special and so I decided to make a Jane Austen July spread now. So there you go. And I thought it might be quite a good time to tell you a little bit about those books I started to read, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, but I haven't finished them yet, but at least I won't spoil anything for you, so <laughs> that's good. So the first novel is Lady Suzanne. Although I haven't read many books from Jane Austen yet, even I can see that this heroine is quite different from other Jane Austen's characters, because apparently she wrote this book after Pride and Prejudice and Sense and Sensibility, but it was published quite a while after she died, and there is also a film version, but it's called Love and Friendship, if any of you would like to see it. As you can guess, the main character is Lady Suzanne. She is 30 years old with 16 years old daughter and after being kicked out of the house, she's kinda moving between her relatives and acquaintances, hoping to find a suitable husband for her daughter as well as for herself while having already a relationship with a married man. She's not nice to her daughter, she quite hates her to be honest, and when they arrive to her brother-in-law's house, they meet there a young man and her daughter is obviously in love with him, but that doesn't stop Lady Suzanne to flirt with him her Herself. So as you can see, a little bit different character from her previous novels, but what is also interesting about this book is that it's written entirely in letters between different characters, so you can get quite a good point of views from each of them, but I must say that at the beginning I was quite confused with who is who and who is actually writing the letter, so that's something to be aware of, but I think that even this is mastered very well, so later on you can pick up quite easily who is writing the letter and what is going on actually. The second book I'm reading now is Emma and again I'm still quite struggling to immerse myself into the story. I read this in Slovak but honestly I don't think it matters in what language I would read it because Emma is just annoying. Shortly, Emma is a story about, well, Emma. <laughs> She's 21 years old young lady who is perfectly happy from rich family and everything is just going great. She lives with her father who is a very anxious person and she spends her whole life accompanying him and not leaving her village. She is a character who is childish and snobby and after her governess gets married and leaves Emma, she remains alone and of course bored. And so she needs to find some new hobby and she finds that in matchmaking. But the way she does it is not always ending well and especially for the people involved. I did not read much of the book yet, but um, it's not that I hate Emma, but I just quite struggle to pick up the book every time and read it, and I also noticed that there is quite a lot of people who feel the same, that either dislike this book because of the main character or then just adores the book as all of Jane Austen's books. So you can let me know in the comments which category do you belong to, do you love Emma or you just cannot be bothered because of Emma. <laughs> And there we go, the journal is done. So the first film I would like to talk to you about is Pride and Prejudice from 2005. As I said, I adore this film with bottom of my heart. I think it's absolutely the greatest adaptation and one of the greatest movies ever made because if I take out the cast and settings and props and costumes and aesthetics and camera and lighting and sound and music and everything, still what I also love about this movie is script. Because I know from my own experience that reading Jane Austen's book, especially when I started it a couple years ago when I was much younger, I found it really difficult to get into the story and also I think that the language in it in which it was written was a little bit difficult and it always felt really slow paced for me and even with Pride and Prejudice which is one of the most favorite stories of all time I just did not feel like okay what is this story about you know I just did not enjoy it very much but then I saw the adaptation and everything changed and I think that sometimes for people it's easier to see the films first especially when it comes to Jane Austen and then they can slowly fall in love with the books and usually that's my case and when it comes to concretely this film I really feel that the script made absolutely amazing job because it really managed to catch the essence of the whole story and also of the language in which Jane Austen used to write in those times but in the same time it's much easier I think that's how I feel about the movie that it's really communicating everything very easily and it's not slow paced like everything goes like to and you cannot wait 
it was gonna happen at the end but uh, after I saw the film I was really intrigued to read the book and it was much much easier for me but besides this I think that whole film is absolutely brilliant and I love it and yeah I would ramble too long about that so I'll just skip to another movie which is Sense and Sensibility from 1995. I absolutely love this film because for me this is the example of classical classic adaptation of Jane Austen's book and I just love it and honestly Alan Rickman in those times wardrobe reading a book out loud I mean yes <laughs> Yes, <laughs> but also what I really love about this movie is the fact that when you compare it, for example, with Pride and Prejudice, which I just mentioned, I still love that aesthetic and I love that movie, but in the same time, this Sense and Sensibility, I feel like if you would just take one image from the film, no matter what image, like if you just pause the movie, whatever you see in there just looks like painting on the canvas and I absolutely love that about the film, so Sense and Sensibility is definitely my probably the second most favorite film but they are quite equal so definitely these two I recommend you to watch. The third movie I'm going to be talking about now is Mansfield Park because I did my homework and as you could see in my previous couple minutes I did the quiz and it came out that I am supposed to be Fanny Price from Mansfield Park and no I did not have time to read the book but I seen the film and I must say I really really enjoyed it and I'm really intrigued to read the book because what I really like about this film is that um, it's one of the classical adaptations, you could say, but in the same time it has very modern take because especially when you see the camera work in that film and also how the music and also the camera work works for the sake of the specific humor in this film I think is really interesting also for the fact that the funny prize who was also using her voice as a narrator in the story a couple times sometimes she would also look into the camera directly as she was speaking so that was something really new for Jane Austen's adaptations for me but overall I just really really like it and I'm also curious to know because um, in the film there were a couple times when people would tackle on social and political background in what was going on in those times such as slavery but it wasn't much it was just few sentences so I wonder if the book went into much bigger details in this and I would really like to read this book because I was really engaged with the story from the very beginning until the end and I wanted to know what's gonna happen but I must say the funny price as herself I don't know if she's my most favorite character of all so uh, maybe if I read the book that will change but so far I really really enjoyed this film as well. And because I really wanted to immerse myself in Jane Austen's stories and her world and everything, I decided to watch one more movie which I haven't seen before and that is North... North... <laughs> Northanger Abbey. Northanger Abbey is the movie I watched. It's, ad it's adaptation from 2007 with Felicity Jones and Joseph Field and... I think that so far it's my least favorite adaptation. I watched this yesterday and even though I really liked the story and what was happening there and how it was happening there, I did not enjoy the execution of it very much because I just felt from the very beginning that some actors were really like overacting, like it was too much for me and then especially there are parts in the movie when the main character Catherine, played by Felicity Jones, her character really loves to read which is something amazing but the way how her imaginations runs wild was transferred into the film that her vision of what she was reading about was also transferred into some scenes so what she was reading about was, was also acted on the screen screen and I know that she was supposed to like overact and overreact in those things but it really made me cringe like I did not enjoy those parts as well and I was just like please stop <laughs> so that's something I did not enjoy and it kind of killed the whole vibe of the story for me but I really enjoyed the proposal at the end like it was really cute so uh, I would really like to read the book because I did enjoy as I said the story and what was happening there but um, just this adaptation did not work for me very well and about some other adaptations which I watched, well I already mentioned I watched Emma last year and <laughs> you already know I did not remember much from that story but I do remember like the images because one thing I really remember from the film is like the whole aesthetics and costumes and it was just really really beautifully made like the colors they were so vivid absolutely amazing so I do remember aesthetics of the film it's just like I cannot recall what was the story about or how it was executed very much but I just see images popping out in my head and it's just really beautiful so I do recommend 
recommend you to watch it and I also seen uh, Emma with Gwyneth Paltrow but I seen only like bits and pieces from it so that is something which I still have on my list to watch and then another film I would like to talk about is Bridget Jones because some people say that this is a modern take on Pride and Prejudice but I never connected it with this even though I mean I can see it because yeah Mr. Darcy and then the other guy Hugh Grant who was supposed to be as Mr. Wickham but still for me it's not something connected to Jane Austen very much but please watch Bridget Jones because Bridget is Bridget, so watch it. And the last film I will mention is Becoming Jane with Anne Hathaway. This film is not adaptation of one of Jane Austen's stories, but it's a biopic about her. And I must say I quite enjoyed it. I seen it a couple years ago, but I seen it many times and it used to be one of my most favorite films for quite a long while. I really loved it and if you haven't seen it, well then nothing, but if you've seen it, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but the scene at the end with the name it always breaks my heart and I love it so much but it's so sad. So this is the film I also recommend you to watch if you would like to see more of a Jane Austen films even though this is not a direct adaptation of her stories but it's supposed to be about her and her life and I found it very interesting and also inspiring to see how she as a woman and author especially in those times was trying to make her way through her dream even though like all the circumstances and all the social rules and everything was against her but it was something really lovely to see. One thing I really wanted to try with this reason also is that to find out whether my relationship to Jane Austen changes somehow or not because as I said before I did not have any sort of relationship to Jane Austen. It wasn't that I disliked her book but it also wasn't that I would love her and I really wanted to see if this time which I spend with her and her books and films more if it would somehow you know, affect how I look at her and her work. And so far I must say that I did enjoy reading the books, even though I still do feel like her books are really slow paced for my taste. Like even though I enjoy the stories, I enjoy the characters, I just still feel that it's difficult for me to pick up her books. But once I do and start to read them, I cannot put the book down, but it's just always the process of me pushing myself to pick up the book and start reading. And I still think that for me, it's easier to watch film adaptations in advance and then enjoy the book which I think is absolutely okay but uh, I really did enjoy this time with this readathon and also as I mentioned before I did try to have one day off without the phones and technical devices and internet and everything I managed to do that when I was doing my picnic day I also read the book and I just spent day with a little bit of knitting as well which is something I did not do since December I really enjoyed it so that was something really really nice I really really hope that you enjoyed this video because I certainly did enjoy it so so much I don't remember having so much fun when creating some video and I'm not quite sure if I will have time to create another Jane Austen related video this July but I discovered that there is also Jane Austen festival in August so I might do something like that for that time if you would be interested you can let me know in the comments and if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing and also you can find me on the Instagram where I post regularly between the videos and thank you very much for being with me here on this Jane Austen journey and I will see you with another video very soon. Bye, take care. I should do it in like Jane Austen times. Thank you. <laughs>